that same bitch that a slice of niggas tires. Look him in his face, say I love him, I'm a liar. I love how he tricky, wanna put me in designer. I'ma make him work for the cookie nigga work. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. So basically, I had to get up really early so that I could work out. I said I was gonna start working out today and I found me a trainer and I'm starting to work out. But I got a multiple. I'm not gonna cap, I got multiple trainers because I really wanna see who works the best for me. Hold on. Hello, good morning. Good freaking morning. Let me tell y'all. So I am on my way to get trained. This is my first day trying to train with somebody. I got kind of like three trainers. And I'm gonna work. I haven't this is my first time working with this one and all the others. It'll be my first time working with them too. But I need to like not even get back like in the working out because my body because I actually really like my body I just want to work more so on my torso and I want to feel a lot more healthier like I don't feel as healthy as I feel like I should I like glitter on my face I don't feel as healthy as I should so that's the whole purpose of me really working out is I mean losing weight yeah I can but I kind of like my thickness just take that shit out of my stomach, you know? And also, I apologize for the quality because I have to use my phone because I grabbed my camera this morning and forgot to put my damn SD card in. So, I got a camera with no SD card. And then, let me tell you, so I had to stop and get gas. I was supposed to be there at 9 o'clock. I had to stop and get gas because my car, I forgot, was left on E. And then... Once I got gas, I was five minutes away and then I missed one freaking turn. And when I missed that one turn, it literally made my shit go to, um, I feel like I can go over here. It made my shit go like, <laughs> it made it go to 12 minutes. So say I'm gonna get there like 920 and I'm like, I hate being late. So I'm so sorry about that, but out of my control and it's raining so people are like driving super duper like scary because california and i used to rain and normally when it rain i don't be outside either so i can tell like these people is scared child i'm like damn it's okay it's a little rain ain't gonna do nothing to you but hold on let me look at my gps real quick yeah. Oh my gosh, so I just got done freaking working out and y'all should have seen me because I was in there getting it, child. Like, I feel like my body don't look bad by any means, but I just like want to feel healthier. I feel like with me not work, moving around as much and being as active, I've been feeling sluggish. So I just want to get my body together. But girl, I was in there. But I gotta, I'm gonna weigh myself and do my measurements. That way I can put them up and that way you'll see like the difference. Also, this room look a little bit different because I took my couch out. I'm literally throwing so much stuff away. I told you I'm not playing anymore. But when I tell y'all, I feel good about the workout. Like that was my first time with him. Um, he, I like the way he worked me out though. Like it was, it was very, who was it? It was very like. It was active, but it wasn't like, it was active, but it wasn't like annoying. Like some trainers like talk too fucking much. And then some trainers like do too fucking much. And then sometimes they make you stay on something for too long. He didn't do none of that, but you know, I liked the way he worked me out. But I'm still working out with other people too, but I went ahead and paid for like six sections, six sessions with him. So I got five more. So I'm gonna do two more this week and three next week and then but I'm also going to try out this other girl that was recommended to me too. So you guys will see that. But baby, I'm trying to just lose maybe like 15 pounds. Maybe 15. And I really only want to lose it in my stomach. So we're going to see. And I want to lose it in my back too. And my back is good, but I don't want all this. I want to be tall. You know, shit like that. But I just got home. It's freaking raining. So I'm about to take a bath. And then when I get my bath, I'm going to come back and I'm going to cook my food. And 
Yeah, so y'all see me. So you guys, I just want to tell you about this product that was sent to me from Bluelin Products. It's a hand soap duo. It basically is supposed to help you guys to save and recycle and make sure you're not wasting products with single use plastic products um you know most of the time when we go get hand soaps and things like that pretty much it's in a plastic container we use it and then we throw it away but with blue lint hand soap duo set that includes two glass reusable forever bottles as well as six plastic refillable tablets and that makes six bottles of foaming hand soap in three different scents when you run out you can just go back on their site and purchase it for two dollars or less all you have to do is take the glass bottle you pretty much fill it in with some hot water and then you can drop a tablet in and let it dissolve as well as using your foaming soap once it's fully dissolved it will be a foaming soap and then instead of me going out to the store and doing all these different things and buying plastics and wasting it stuff like that i can just go back on the website and buy their tablets so definitely check them out and see if you can get in your sustainable movement as well so all you guys have to do is click the link in my bio to get 20 percent off your first blue link kit so hey y'all i'm really about to just cook me some breakfast i just got done doing my little workout i feel good i'm just a little like my throat is sore like and i know it ain't no rona and plus i got a home kit anyway I think like it was raining the other day so bad. Like I don't like rain. I don't like rain and I don't like heat. Honey, let me tell y'all how I'm really a grown woman because I clean my motherfucking fridge. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't and da 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 da. But I feel like for me, when I like. It'd be like these maids I get to come to my house. I'll have them do it. But this time I was like, no. It's right here. I'm right here. Let me go ahead and clean it. And I did. I'm going to put me some breakfast. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to put me some breakfast. And then I'm going to get to work. Okay, I'm back, y'all. I got to clean up and do all this other little stuff in my house. <laughs> okay, y'all. So this is my sausage. I got this turkey sausage from Trader Joe's. It's like chicken sausage, and then I also got my eggs. I don't know hot sauce is unhealthy, but I like a little bit of hot sauce on my eggs. So we're gonna see. But yes, this is my meal right now for my breakfast. So hey y'all, um, so hey y'all, basically right now I'm trying to get all my stuff together. I literally change my clothes like three to four times a day. I don't know. I just be putting an outfit on and then I be wanting to change it. Then I go back to what I was wearing. Like, I don't know. I just be doing that. But right now I'm really about to go through like my sponsorships and see what videos I need to get done. And also create a new calendar and list. But y'all, when I tell you I can't get away from seeing the will smith jada drama on my freaking timeline i'm like damn this shit is like active active and it's crazy oh let me tell y'all this is my favorite candle and it's crazy because i wasn't even gonna talk about it but i'm like girl i'm about to start to talk about current events on my channel because that's the shit i be doing i'm not knock this over It'd be like these little things we having stuff on them, I think. But nonetheless, I mean, what do y'all feel? Do y'all feel like Will Smith was wrong? I feel like personally with me, y'all see how I am about like a person I'm dating. Like if it's a situation of Rose or somebody try to play with them or even like, and y'all see me, like I said, fighting. But I feel like even in a space of like somebody trying to like, um, I'm about to use my other lighter because this one is not really trying to give me what it's supposed to get. But I personally feel like Will wasn't wrong. I feel like it is the time and place for everything, but also you can't control when some of my emotions take over them. And I feel like y'all, the thing about it is people are vocalizing, saying, oh my God, he's so wrong, he's so wrong. Um, I don't condone violence. I'm not even gonna say I don't condone violence. <laughs> 
I'm not saying it like that, but I'm just saying because I feel like it's been times where somebody's tried me and I couldn't just be like, I'm going to walk away. I can't condone violence. And it's also been times where I, I guess, jumped out and started fighting first. So with me, who am I to say I don't condone violence when situations that came my way and, bitch, the first thing I did was use some violence. You know what I mean? Um, but I will say that the thing about it is if she has alopecia, and this is something she struggled with on the back end. With him being her partner, he has dealt with things on the back end that the public does not know about. Because he's there consoling her, emotionally being available for her, and probably dealt with her tears, upset, all that kind of things. So with him, he has a certain, and he cares for her, loves her, of course, and that's his wife. So he has a connection to her that if he sees her in pain, at the expense of somebody else making a joke about it, you don't know how you're going to react. That's the same thing as if my mama had some type of sickness and somebody say something about her. I don't know how I'm going to react, especially if you're cracking a joke in front of all these people. So with him, you know, it's one of them things where impulse kicks in. I mean, he is human. Celebrity or not, he's a human. And also, I feel like for Chris Rock, like, yeah, you are a comedian, but that's why I always had a finicky thing with comedians. I'm going to be honest. Because I feel like it's a happy medium of like cracking jokes. And then it's like when you really be coming for somebody juggling for no reason. And that shit is not funny. Like when people be having like dark humor. That shit is not funny to me. Like when um, Shane Dawson and them used to do. I, remember, I don't know if y'all remember that whole situation he did about his cat. It was like some type of dark comedy or dark humor. That shit was disgusting as hell to me. Like, and some people find rises and funny and thinks it's hilarious of that kind of stuff. But I personally don't like that shit. And even with me, like, I am a normal human citizen. So with me, I'm like, like, I don't know. I just have regular humor. I mean, the, the thing that maybe people will be like, that's not funny and it's funny to me is like if somebody fighting and some shit like happened or on a muffin ball or something like that. Like, I think that's funny, but somebody's like, my God, they fell. That's a fight. This is not funny. But personally, I've been thinking shit like that's funny. Like, you know what I mean? Like, clearly, y'all see. <laughs> so with me, I just was like, um, I don't know. I think that I have a, like I said, with me not being a comedian, I think there's certain stuff that can be joked about and certain stuff that can't be joked about. People, kids can't be joked about, and I feel like also people sickness can't be joked about, and I think death. Like those are some things to me that that I can think of off the top of my head that is not funny to me. Um, but you know everybody's not like me, and they don't think like that. But I mean personally, that's his wife. He felt, and people were saying, oh, he was laughing in a. I feel like it's a normal reaction that when somebody's talking, they just kind of be like, <laughs> and so it gets to, huh, I'm not laughing no more. So people was like, he thought it was funny until he looked over and seen her reaction. I feel like he probably just was like going with the flow. He seen the cameras. It was like, huh, huh. But when he really seen how bothered it made her feel, he just went into protector mode. So, I mean, personally, I don't feel like he was wrong for smacking the shit out of Chris Rock. I feel like in Chris Rock, I mean, yeah, that's his job. He's a comedian. They gonna crack jokes. But it's like, okay, so y'all expect every time y'all crack a joke at somebody that is deep, that people not going to get offended to it? Like, no. So some people was like, there, he's a comedian. He's a comedian. I'm saying, some people, I had to use my regular lighter because I don't know why my thing is not trying to connect. But I mean, like I said, I understand he's a comedian, but some people, I don't give a fuck how comedian your ass is. People don't think that shit is funny. It's just not funny. Especially, that's his motherfucking wife. So, I mean, now, do Will have to smack him on camera in front of everybody? I mean, that is public humiliation. I ain't going to cap. Because I promise you, he probably never expected that shit. Because I wouldn't have expected it. But, hey. That was his reaction. He was doing a job. That was motherfucking reaction. Back to him doing what the fuck he was doing. So, that's one of them things where it's like, Chow, what you going to do? I actually want to light an incense today. And I want to set good intention with it. Actually, let me blow this out. Because I want to do my... I don't never do a candle and an incense together. Because that sometimes they be doing a lot. And it be making my nose feel like really fucking, you know. But, um, yeah, honey. That was the whole situation with that. But nonetheless, I have just been so out of it. I have went and got a... I got a reading done. 
I got a reading done this morning and I'm right now in a transitional period of my life. Like I'm in a transitional period. I'm also in a healing period. I'm in a transitional period because I'm transitioning into like another form of myself. And I'm also in a healing period because of a lot of things that I have endured and went through. I think now I'm kind of sitting still. Y'all know I've been on a go, 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 go. And I think now I'm just being forced to kind of sit still a little bit. I'm still busy and active, but I'm just sitting still a little bit more. And, um, you know, I'm carrying on on my back like I normally do, but I just am just in a space of trying to, oh, also let me know what you guys think about the Will Smith thing, but I'm in this big transitional healing space. Um, so like I said, I got a reading done today, so it went really well. It was just, <sighs> sometimes you don't want to be hearing it, and then, but you need to hear it. And then also even with my therapy, I got a therapy. I had went and got therapy done last Tuesday. So I need to schedule something for this week as well. But it's like, I don't know, y'all. It comes with being an adult. You got to do what the fuck you got to do. You got to motherfucking do what the fuck you got to do, bitch. Mm. I'm okay with doing it. It's just, damn. Damn, boo. Oh, also I got my nails done. I don't know if I showed you guys. Here's my nails. I like the way they look. Very cute. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your girl has been on a journey and stuff like that. And also, I started using my Polaroid when I tell you. I, um... Everything. So here's one of my polar boys, you guys. That I love me a champagne. It looks so cute from the other night. So I've been working on my little polar boys and stuff, trying to get my polar boy weighed up or whatever. And I'm sham, but I gotta get to editing. I gotta do some of this stuff. So I would definitely stay tuned with y'all when I get back on the grid. Cause I got a couple things I need to do today. So y'all will be present and I will see y'all. And like you got a lot of decisions to make in the immediate in the future. I'm also seeing you trying to uh, keep your mind clear. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Like you got low sexual energy right now. And I'm seeing you having some digestive issues or stomach pain in the immediate in the future as well. Um, <clears throat> now, I do see you um, reconciling some differences uh, with somebody that you've been distant from. And... And it looks like you're going to be working on a new project in the media to the future. So you're going to be putting a lot of work into that. You definitely want to protect your back. And make. And I'm also seeing that emotionally, your empath ability uh, is strong right now. Extremely active and so is your flow chakra. Uh, so you're definitely going to be doing uh, lots of communication with people. Basically, whatever you feel is what you're going to be speaking. And like I say, it's going to be a lot of conversation about reconciling. Uh, this could be repairing relationships between you and other people. You talking to people that you haven't talked to in a while. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of new beginnings and uh, opportunities for success and increasing your income as well. Hey, y'all. Hey, bitch. Let me tell you why I was so pissed off. Hello. I really wasn't going to go out and do too much today, but I was like, you know what? Why the freak not? And I ended up putting myself on. But girl, let me tell you, no cap. I've got my, no cap. The energy around here was really draining because we in LA and it don't never rain. So, so we in LA and it don't ever hardly ever rain out here. So the energy out here was just throwing me off y'all. Like I promise you. 
Let me put my hair back forward because, bitch, I was looking homeless. Turn these lights off. But it was given very much so, like, nobody's used to the rain here. So, bitch, it was just, the city was looking draining. But I put my perfume on and I let him hand out the door. Now, this part ain't even sponsored, but I love, I don't know, if y'all the type of person, like, I don't really have to be going nowhere, but I just like to smell freaking good. But I was a little upset last week, and I'm glad I took a break, but I'm gonna just be very honest and transparent with y'all. So, the problem I was having is I had got my samples made and stuff, and the samples was not turning out the way that it was supposed to. I don't know if it was the pattern maker or the sample maker or whatever, but you know, with samples, you have to pay, like, about, um, what do you have to pay? Like, it depends. You could pay $200 a sample or $250. And you got to think, I'm getting like five or six me. And the first set didn't turn out right. The second set didn't turn out right. So, it's a disconnect between the patterns and the samples. I honestly, genuinely believe it's the patterns. But I have to see when I get up in there or if it's the way that they're sewing it with the samples. Nonetheless, that was a big disconnect I was having. Then also, I know you guys, I let y'all hear a part of it. I had got a reading done. And she was channeling all these people's energy, like the people I'm dating, past people. Um, and it was very... The st it's crazy. Ever since my first reading when she told me about my intuition and what I was given, I already kind of had a great idea of what my mindset was on. You know what I mean? Like, I could tell. But now... It just confirmed it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go to um, go get my patterns looked at, samples looked at real quick. And then, once I get those done, I'm pretty much going to... I'm pretty much going to um, do those. And then, once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this way but lord be with me because all this conversation today goes very well because if it doesn't child it, it's, it's in god's hands um but nonetheless and then i also want to go to the alley because i wanted to go look for a few things but i'm gonna show y'all those in a minute so y'all can see but i'll be back i gotta make some more memory on this freaking thing but um freaking camera but i'm so glad i got a new battery because when i tell you bitch i need that motherfucker Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. <laughs> so, good morning. I had like a really good nice rest, baby. I went to sleep. Um, I feel really good, hydrated, rejuvenated, like all that. And today is something really exciting. I told y'all I've been having so much stuff happening for me continuously back and forth back to back to back and i just been loving that um but i got my shirt on of course it says ums greek life you guys i'm not sure if you know but i am aka if you didn't know but i did attend the university of maryland eastern shore and i got my bachelor's so um i got my bachelor's in fashion merchandising so you guys basically today i'm really excited to announce that i will be going to the wholesale district and taking a class of students from my alma mater, UMS, and basically showing them the whole district, giving them a tour of everything, and you know, just it's like a full circle experience just because I. <laughs> you guys know when i first started out down at the host district i couldn't even get nobody to interview and then after like asking like 38 40 stores everybody turned me down until i got to like three well I, over the times and hours i was down there i got three stores to say yes and with me being able to get them three stores to say yes that video hit like two million views and then I went down there and I did some more. And, you know, now I tell y'all I'm back in my work ethic. I'm back in my element. And I'm just really excited to take them down there and just give them that experience of showing them the host of district and how that works and all that stuff. So that's where I'm going to be taking you guys with me today. I woke up 7 this morning so I can make sure I get everything done. I have to do my makeup, my hair, um, kind of still get my outfit together. And also I had prepared for them goodie bags. So I have to figure out... Well, I have to fix the goodie bags and do all that stuff. So, I'm really excited. I'm really, 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 really excited. And I feel like they're just going to be so happy. I'm happy. I feel good today. 
and yeah. So, say good morning. Somebody need a little bath. I'm gonna have to give you one. Say good morning. The camera is here, baby. Yeah, pumpkin. Hello. Morning. Morning. So I actually, this morning, I was in such a good mood. I lit my favorite candle. This is Amber Shores. W and L candle. I forgot what the name of this actual candle is. But I've had it for so long. This is Wolf and Lamb. I don't know if that's it. I'm gonna figure it out though. This is like my favorite candle. It smells amazing. But if I can find it, I'll link it below. I actually got it from Marshall. So and I'm also using my electronic um lighter that one of my subbies has sent me so i don't have to burn my nails because y'all was watching me on the vlog burning everything so yeah and then i forgot to tell you guys when i was in paris i ended up getting this it cost me like about two something it was a little pricey this little sculpture was a little pricey i got it from the louvre museum but i feel like it fits the aesthetic of my house it's like everything else that i got going on in here so yeah i really do like that anyway but let me go ahead and get dressed get ready and i'll check back in with you Never give me school teacher at the fucking bottom. Like Your toes? Yeah, to make it a whole look. June here. 
Like you said what? I feel like my toes need to be out so it can look like a whole look. Okay, where your toes? You got any shoes with your toes out? Just the white heels. Let me see. Let me just see. Because you might could pull it off because you got that black bag, but it's giving cute. But I get where you could go a little harder. Oh, bitch. I get where you could go a little harder. So, child, I got to grease these legs up. I got to put me first, Lucius. I got to put me the fuck first. Here you go. We're talking about the airs. Oh, I'm like, huh? No, it is not. Then you clicking shit on. Then, uh. Okay, so I'm greased up, oiled up, queued up. I got to get my Fuji film too, because I'm going to take some pictures of my Fuji film. I'm coming up with something so cute. Y'all gonna love it. So, bad bitch. You can see it. Okay, I'm gonna see y'all later. Hey, ho. Yo, I'm picking my friend up. Bitch, you did all that rushing. Get my phone, my car, that ho. <laughs> you did all that rushing, bitch, and got me waiting 20 minutes. Cause I had to wait for that elevator, that's why I told mm, you. I, I mean, seen you, I seen you. You do? Yeah, I do see you, just walk by the side. Oh, you? Not you a superstar coming down, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Period. Go ahead and get you the jacket with your fucking, fuck going on. get your jacket with the um shoulder. Guys, <laughs> bitch, I can't convince the whole jacket right now, but I gotta do the case. Period. Come yes. on, superstar. Yes. It's the swamp. It's giving superstar, bitch. I want. I want to go back. I want to put my black and red outfit on. I know oh, that's some shit, bitch. I feel left out. You can drive on the way back. I'll drive. You was giving. I don't want to. Come on, rock star. Just wave your hair back and forth. Hi. Oh, this June. This Aaron. Look at Aaron, bitch. Look at me, bitch. <laughs> And then she walked up, she said, What's your name? I said, Latice. She said, Can you tell your friend she is so pretty? No, I said, yeah. yeah. No, but I'm glad she came up with herself because she told me I, if you had told me she said it, I wouldn't have took her serious. But since she told she told me herself, she said, And then that's when she was. You're so cute. Over. And I just said to her, I was like, That's your girlfriend. She said, No, that's my best friend. Period. But best friend gay people be doing that. Yeah. Look at them. That's an oh. Girl, that's the parking man. <laughs> okay. That's the parking man carrying a bitch on his back. He working on his tip. I'm going to be honest. It was a very cute event. Why the window don't work? Bitch, do you have the car turn? You look good. Click it down. You look good. She does not look good. Stop lying. Oh, no. You want to be watching? You think the body is Turn good? the lights off. Turn the lights off. You the one with the fucking lights on. Oh, my God. Turn the fucking lights off. Everybody you see. see this cage in Why the, the fuck would you take the fucking... Stop touching shit, bitch. It's going down. Look, I'm trying to be fucking I'm trying to people watch. Let me turn the camera. Yeah, oh, but where's the red niggas coming Where's the fight? Because... You said, where's the fight? I'm about to take these thongs off. 
Open this door and piss. Nobody's gonna see you. Uh uh. You ain't gonna have these hoes talking about me. Back there, June. Nobody even knows who you are, bitch. I like this little bitch right here. Which one? This messy one right here. Which messy. one? The one with the fucking the body suits. Suits? Yeah. The white. It's like three of them with body suits. The nude color one? The fuck no. Oh, the black one. Taking a shot. Get her. Hey. Yes. Hey, sweetheart. How you doing? My friend. Like you. you are oh, so cute. Which friend? This friend. friend. Okay. Do say dripping off my chin. Oh, it's okay. What's your name? Go on that side, baby. <laughs> Girl, she go. She drawing. She might do it. Let me hear you spit some game. What? Do, it. Like do your thing. Mm. Turn the lights on. What's your name? Oh, I'm Erin. What's yours? Madison. Nice to meet you. How you doing? You stay close to downtown? I stay in San Diego, actually. Damn. That's so I'm gonna do something tonight. You stay in LA? Mm hmm. Two weekends out of the bunk. It up, bitch. I thought that was awful. Huh? I'm gonna get your number though. You hey, might as well come okay. on out. Okay. They got a cheetahs in there. That's a nice little ad friend. Do that again. <laughs> you might as well come on out with us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fool. Yo, they acting the fuck up what's out here, bitch. What's, what's your name? Mercedes. Mercedes? Mm -hmm. You look familiar. Like, I've seen you. You think so? Yeah. Girl, I don't know where. You been on a TV show or, or something? I was on TV. I was on MTV. MTV? What show was you on? Wildin' Out. Wildin' Out? You look familiar. Call me on a dot. <laughs> I love it.